I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm not sure if I want to react to this video because I feel like I want to stay ignorant about this. The title of the video is meet the bug. You didn't know you were eating. That pause was on purpose. I don't know if I want to watch this. You've seen this brilliant red before. In textiles, world-renowned paintings, even in the red coats once worn by the British Army. In fact, you've probably even tasted this color. And it all comes from an insect, deeply rooted in the history of Oaxaca, Mexico. Cochineal. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Are you telling me that this color came from a spider? It's an arachnid, right? Right? Hold on. Instead of blood, most insects and arachnids have hemolymph, which is clear. But the cochineal's hemolymph is a rich crimson. Despite the vibrant color they produce, the cochineal's life isn't exactly adventurous. They begin as a pinhead-sized nymph, also called a crawler, for obvious reasons. It wanders around juicy cactus pads, looking for a place to dig in. The nymph starts bright red, but within hours of hatching, it's coated in fluffy white wax. Filaments of wax ooze out of these pores and grow longer than the nymph's own body. This coating prevents the insects from drying out in the hot sun. When a female finds the perfect place to dine, she uses her mouth to hook in and hold on. She'll stay here for the rest of her life, eating, ballooning in size, and making even more wax. Males, when they're a few weeks old, encase themselves in cocoons. When they emerge, but first, they've grown wings. They grow wings and they turn a really nice color red? The males, excuse me? Okay, the more I learn about this planet, the more fascinating this is. These can help them glide to other nearby cactus pads in search of a mate. But usually a female is just steps away they get busy. A few weeks after mating, female cochineals lay their eggs. Within minutes, bright red nymphs hatch, often before the eggs have even dropped. So what's responsible for the cochineal's deep dark red? Carminic acid, a bitter substance that deters nearly all predators but not this hungry beetle larva. It gulps down so many cochineals, it turns red itself. No hiding what you had for lunch. Carminic acid is most concentrated in female cochineals, which live three to four months. To harvest female cochineals, people gently brush them off cacti. So they're still alive. They can't leave that spot on the cactus. They're still alive for whatever time span they have, but they can't move. Honestly, that sounds like torture in my book. It's like almost like being a paraplegic and you can't escape and can't move. But for, I guess, this insect, it's part of its lifespan. That kind of sucks. Oh, that does suck and dry them in the sun. Indigenous people in Mexico cultivated cochineal long before Spain made it a global commodity. In the 1700s, the insect was as valuable as silver. Not only was its pigment beautiful, 
it was also fade resistant. In Teotitlan del Valle, a I wonder if carminic acid can be replicated in a lab. Hmm. And don't act like I didn't catch that. You guys said bitter. So that means you guys tasted it. Y'all nasty. I mean, it is in food. Yeah. But I didn't taste the raw stuff. So, I mean. <laughs> Zapotec town outside Oaxaca City. Weaver Marina Gonzalez grinds dried cochineal on a matate. She dissolves the powder into large tubs of boiling water to dye wool. Next, her son Juan Carlos removes the wool. Cleans it and dries it. Juan Carlos's brother Alejandro uses a loom to transform the colored wool into stunning designs. It takes a I find it fascinating how human beings seek beauty. I think it's interesting because, I mean, in ancient Rome, I've read, I think it was an article saying that a lot of the statues that are porcelain white to this day were actually colored back then. They just faded over time. So I find it fascinating how people from ages ago, even even if, if it's thousands of years ago, sought after beauty and sought after color and made ways to make things look aesthetically pleasing. Like that really mattered, you know? So I guess it goes to show that human beings, even throughout the centuries, no matter how advanced we are, still have a form of a uh, primitive nature to us, I guess. But that's crazy, I mean. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a crazy color red. About 5,000 dried cochineals to dye this medium-sized tapestry. Cochineal shows up in other places too, like your food. Manufacturers often use it as an alternative to artificial dyes. But it may cause allergies, and it is definitely not vegetarian. The cochineal's lasting, vibrant color may be the closest the natural world has come to making a perfect red. This insect may only live a few months, but its legacy will live on for generations. Hey, it's Laura. In food, cochineal is labeled carmine. Cochineal X. I find it really interesting the fact that they have a market for this style of creating rugs or shirts or whatever. Because clearly, seeing this video, people do seek after this style still of creating, I guess, items with this color, or else they wouldn't be doing it. They're, it has to be somewhat successful. So, I mean, people still cling to the old ways, and I find it fascinating, super fascinating. Like, I want to visit that one lady in the Philippines. Her name escapes me because I know it's something long that does, like, ancient tattoos. It'd be kind of cool if I, if I got a tattoo from her. That'd be really cool. I'm going to be aware from now on. I'm going to look at all the labels to see if there's any carbon in it, because this is really interesting. I'm nowhere near vegan, but it'd be kind of interesting if someone's just like, oh, I'm going to eat this, and it has carbon in it. I'm like, I'm sorry, that's not vegan, and they probably will throw a conniption at me because they won't believe me because it's the color. Like, they're probably going to say, how is carbon a color? Meat. They're going to say that, something like that. Like, me, how is it not vegetarian? Huh? How? This was a great video. I had fun watching this video. So I want to know what you guys think about Carmen. Think about the color red. Like and subscribe. Leave comments on the video below. Love.